friends, it's Gwen with you back on the YouTubes for another scrapbooking video, but this one is actually a little bit different. So the super lovely Sarah Scraps declared to one and all that she is doing Maggie Holmes Mondays. And uh, yeah, so she had a look at her stash and realized that she has quite a lot of Maggie and that she wanted to create a plan to use some of her stash up. And as she was talking to me about it, I was sort of going, hmm, I'm a little bit embarrassed to say that I have quite a bit of Maggie myself. And, you know, maybe it could be a good idea for me to join in and uh, get creating on a Monday and see if I can't stash bust some of my own Maggie Holmes stash. And yeah, now that I've gone through and had a look at everything, I do have more than I, more than I've thought so I thought what I would do for this video is show you pretty quickly what I have and then at the end we can see how much of it that I used up so first up paper pads oh no paper not paper pads pattern papers so first up I thought I would share with you my pattern papers now I had not kept Maggie separate uh, I think just because I had been getting a lot of her stuff for a long time and I used to store a lot of things in colors so I did have to go through and pull uh, a few things and some of them to be honest I'm not sure whether it, whether they're crepe paper or Maggie so this one just says crepe paper and it, but flea market I thought was hers so but it doesn't say Maggie anywhere so it may actually be a crepe paper one to me the line is blurry because they do have the same you know look and feel they they are kind of similar in lots of ways so if if there's some in here that are crepe paper I, it's not what I intended. I did intend just to pull the Maggie, but if I wasn't sure and I thought that it could be something that I could use that would work, I did kind of keep it. So, so I've got some uh, pattern papers that are f uh, single sheets that I've bought that are the nicer quality, and then I've got a stack of pattern papers from uh, paper pads. So obviously for these, I've bought the paper pad somewhere along the line and then I've divvied it up um, to sort by colour. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure about some of those those previous ones. This one's Shine. There are some that, yeah, that I'm just, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, I'm not super convinced about like that one. I've obviously gone to cut that because that doesn't have a branding strip on it, but I think that's Maggie. I want to say it's Maggie and it kind of goes and I feel like, I feel like I could get away with using that. Um, yeah, so this one's another one that just says crepe paper. But see, it says crepe paper, but this is open book. And then recollection. So I, I'm thinking that's Maggie. I'm classing that as Maggie. Correct me if I'm wrong. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. That's from Shine. So yeah, there's a heap. There's a heap. Like it's even double. So I haven't. So obviously I bought one paper pad with that in it, and never haven't, haven't ever used a single sheet of that. Um, some pretty blue. Same with that one. Um, yeah. So I've just really gone through this one's. I think that's a signature collection, Maggie Holmes. So yeah, I pulled out as much as I could find. Lots of double up. So there's a lesson in that, isn't it? Maybe you don't need two of every pattern paper, Gwen. It's a lesson in that, isn't there? That one, I know that one's definitely Maggie. That I remember when that came out, it was like, oh, signature, you know, really something special was like, there was even, I even saw someone, people were like framing just that and having that as art. So it clearly I've saved it because it's so special. And now 2012, so now all these years on, it's still sitting here untouched. So there's another one that's flea market. I'm sure that was Maggie. Anyway, so that's all my pattern. I uh, saw, so, yeah, all my pattern papers. Oh, there's this one too. What's this one? Oh, pretty party. Actually, that one is crepe paper. So maybe we won't count that one. Um, I do have one paper pad that's still bound up, and that's this one, Shine. I do believe I have gone through and stashed 
busted a little bit. I do recall there was some papers in this collection that were really just not my jam. Like, mm, like this blue one. And I thought there was others. Oh, the zebras. Can you see that? <laughs> Green background with zebras. Very useful. Not. Um, yeah, so I think I did ditch some of the ones that I knew 100%. There was no way I was ever going to use them. I think I actually just purged them. Okay, so there's that. Um, oh, I also found this, which is a background that I must have started for something at some point. So I thought, mm, maybe we could use that. And while I'm here, I did also notice that I had for this one, this is Shine, and I had the, uh, uh, what do you call it, loose paper sheet. So this this is like not from a paper pad. And I had this one, which was from a paper pad. And look at the difference. Like we all know that the, that the paper pads are uh, lesser quality, but that's a bit, I've never really, I guess I've never really noticed because I've never paid attention. But that's a pretty big difference. Anyway, they're both fine. They'll both go um, and... I think I might be able, that's one I might be able to use up. We'll see how we go. Now, I also did find, which this bit I'm a bit, I'm a bit, um, what's the word? A bit embarrassed, I think, is probably the right word. Um, clearly, I have an obsession for specialty papers and then I don't use them because I found all of these. So I think this one, I think this one was from a more recent collection. Does it say mm, 2017? Oh, okay. Well, I suppose that's not that long ago. Um, then there's this one. This one's open book, I want to say. Yes, open book. Uh, so is this one. I have used, I had more than one sheet. I think I had three or four sheets of this one and I have used them. So in my defense, but yes um there's this one this is also open book oh that's the same as that other one more duplicates oh there's three of those oh drc not good uh this one's also open book i know i know 100 percent. i've used several sheets of that already this is from oh oh what's that one called we'll get to that um chasing dreams this one is actually my favorite Maggie collection and I don't have very much of it left. There was just, yeah, there was really something that just ticked all my boxes for, um, for Chasing Dreams. It was a beautiful collection. Uh, there's this one. I think this one was open book as well. And it's got, I have struggled. I, I know I've tried to use this one uh, a few times, but it's very gold. So I might even, I know, gasp, I might even chop that off and, and back it on a white or something if i was going to use it like it is i probably would have already so yeah we'll see what happens with that confetti and yeah and so that's all the specialty paper i do have these little vellum this was a, a pattern a specialty paper as well but i've obviously gone ahead and fussy cut out the doilies for some of that so that's all the paper i do have as well this stash of like mixed pattern papers because I've obviously I've worked a lot with these collections so and this is where the line between crepe paper and Maggie gets a little blurry so but you know what it'll all we'll just see how we go it's anything that we get used is you know gonna feel good right I'm not gonna be all like oh I'm so disappointed that I didn't use this Maggie paper I use this crepe paper instead it's they all fit together so that doesn't look that bad um except that's the bit that's not kind of in collections so um <laughs> for collections i have um this one i hope these baggies aren't so i just store all my collections in baggies like this really these days so this is carousel um there's not too much pattern paper uh, 12 by 12 style but there is a 8 by whatever that is 6 by 8 oh look more specialty paper I save it up for a rainy day and that rainy day never comes so that's that one and lots of embellishments for that oh what's this is this more 
Oh, that's more like scraps and stuff. Oh, they're cute. Little banners. I've kind of forgotten about all of this stuff. So good. So that's uh, carousel. I have a little bit of bloom, probably more pattern paper than anything left for bloom. Um, yeah, and that one wasn't, I, I'm saying it's not my favorite, but I've actually used like the sticker sheets in here that I've used. Let's look at that one. That one's almost empty. Like a lot of the larger elements, like sure, maybe not those little sentiments, but a lot of these bigger ones. So that's good. So there's not that much of bloom left. Um, Chasing Dreams. So yeah, this is my this is my favorite. And you know what? I think if I saw this, um, I would get more of this because this was just so me. And I don't have. There's only a few little pattern papers there. Um, well, I see. There's still there's still quite a few stick it elements like obviously i've used some there two two sets of puffy i'm not sure whether this fits in with chasing dreams i think it might be newer than that someone will know some expert i know some of you girls know all your collections and what came with where and i i think i'm pretty good but yeah i'm, I'm thinking that didn't come with this one but it's been whacked in there uh some yeah some die cut ephemera there's still that paper pad so there's still, actually, there's still more there than I thought. So that's Chasing Dreams. And then I have, this is Willow Lane. Now, Willow Lane's hardly touched. I think I have done possibly two uh, two uh, pages with Willow Lane. I don't even think that's open. Oh, no, yes. Phew. Oh. So there is a couple of elements used on that. But this doesn't look like, normally I wouldn't keep this like this. So... Oh, no, there's a couple of pieces used. Normally, I would pull that all off. Look, oh, how sweet is that? Yeah, so, yeah, there's some really pretty colours. I can see me using these as well in our little busting efforts. So that's uh, Willow Lane. Then we're getting towards the end. This is a box that I created. I hope you can see that. I might just stand up. Can you see that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, except I don't want to knock my lights. Hang on. There we go. Um, so this is a, a box I created that was just all bits and pieces of embellishments and packs that didn't sort of fit in those other ones. So, for example, Flourish. I bought Flourish, but I only bought the one thing that I bought from Flourish was this floral die cut pack. And I don't think I've used a single one. I think I decided that they were quite large they're all quite big so we might even do a yeah see that's like three and a half I might even oh and i remember these these butterflies are giant nine centimeters or for you usa peeps three and a half inches for a butterfly die cut so we might end up we might do a double whammy and add this to the stash bust big stuff series that i'm doing but also use up maggie because yeah i'm pretty sure i haven't used a single element from that flourish pack not a single one that's a bit embarrassing isn't it uh these are i don't even think they're labeled i don't know where these are from one of them no it doesn't say i think it's just got the name so a uh, chipboard more chipboard even more chipboard these are die cuts from gather I don't think I bought much of Gather. Uh, although I'm just seeing that paper matches. Uh, this is a scrap that I have. But I, yeah, I really don't think I've got much of Gather. Either that or I can't find it in here. And that's even more embarrassing. No, I'm sure I would have found it. Yeah. So I think I think I only bought a few pattern papers from Gather for the same reason. A lot of this, I think a lot of my stash is maybe older rather than the newer stuff because i did recognize that i had a maggie holmes problem and i did ease up a little bit so um yeah having said that a uh, sticker book from uh spotties got this from spotlight i know they have them everywhere i've used a few do you know what i'm not that big a fan because they're not shiny or thick i think if they were a similar kind of feel to them uh, to the uh, cardstock stickers, I'd be happier. They're all right. Um, and even when you put them on foam, I just find that they're a bit flimsy. So 
I actually don't hold out much hope. I think the ones I have used in here, uh, no, whoa, they're gold, aren't they? Woo! Um, these type, I've used a few of these type. They're more, uh, I don't know what the word is. They just seem to be made out of like a more of a slick surface rather than a matte surface. Anyway, we'll see. I popped it in. Even maybe I could get some of the sentiments on a page. Who knows? Uh, this glorious gold letter pack. I've used some. It is very gold though, but it's it's actually not as gold as some of... It's not a, as yellow. It's more true true gold. Can I say that? Anyway, that's that. Uh, oh, Darling. So again, is Oh, Darling Maggie? No, that might be crepe paper. So maybe those ones will pull out. I'm not sure about that. Um, this one is Maggie because it says Maggie. Oh, shine. Yep. And then I've got, um, what else is in here? Uh, that is, does it say, I don't know. You girls will all know these collections. So, yep, that's all those. So a bunch of those. I think that's open book. A bunch of those. Uh, some more. Oh, it's gonna, I've got a little avalanche happening over there. Uh, more shimmery, shiny. Maybe not so much the gold. Like the, it is a bit much for me. We'll see. Maybe I can. Maybe I can do. I have seen Missy put like gesso on it. Maybe I'll choose something that I know I'm not going to use, like a whole gold deer. Sorry, Maggie, but I don't think I'm going to put that on my page. So maybe I'll t I'll test out the M M Missy Wooden gesso thing. Uh, these are cute and I have not, I think they can, oh no, I've used one, one out of three. That's not bad. So they'll definitely, surely I can get those on a page. Oh, is there only two? Oh dear. <laughs> Maybe I haven't. Surely I can get one of those on a page. Um, some more carousel. I don't know why those ones weren't in that other packet of carousel. These are more puffy. I think that's carousel as well. Uh, more bits and bobs. So this has really just been a catch-all. Very organised. Very, uh, very streamlined system of storing that we have going on here. Not. Uh, some stickers. This giant. That's not happening. There's no way that's happening. <laughs> that could go as a photo mat. <laughs> uh, yeah, so all oh, these... I know I bought several packets of these, so to only have six left, I'll be surprised because, you know, gold puffy hearts. Why wouldn't you have 10 packets of them? Uh, this one, again, is carousel. Gee, I bought a lot of carousel, didn't I? Um, and then some frames that are kicking about. So who's to know? Are these Maggie? Maybe, maybe not. Oh, and then there's this. Oh, I made, I made this tag. Look at those pretty ballerinas. That's cute. I said two of them. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, obviously, I had a plan of sorts for that. Who knows what that was. So, that's the random box. And I think there's just one more set of things left to show you. So, let me clear this. Okay. Okay. So, lucky last is this, which is my latest purchase which is, you would have seen in a recent unboxing, Sweet Story. So, yeah, I haven't made anything with this yet. So, I'm feeling, oh, I must have cut, I've cut something for something. Has that started? Might be a project that I've started somewhere. That looks nice. I'm on track. Better find that. Um, yes, yeah, so I think I might absolutely cheat and create my first page with Sweet Story. Because it's now in my stash. So technically I am busting my stash. It could get me nice and warmed up though. So we'll see. So yeah, that's um yeah, so that's all brand new. I haven't opened any of that yet. So that is the last of it, and that is the most recent purchase. So that is everything, and uh, we'll just see how this whole thing goes. I'm feeling accountable. I'm going to upload this video straight away so that everybody knows that I am going to be joining Sarah, and I am going to be using up some of this. Like, realistically, even if I did 
thinking about it, even if I did two layouts for say October, November and December, that's still only six pages. And there is no way that this much Maggie can get used up in six pages. I probably have enough here for 60 pages. But <laughs> I'll feel a little bit better about it because I haven't I haven't used a lot of this stuff in a long time. So I will feel good about that. Uh, yeah, so yeah, feel free to leave me any comments. Uh, if you're joining in, like I'd love you to, that would be awesome. Let me know. And um, yeah, I'm sure some of you will know some of those brands. You'll be like, no, Gwen, that's not the right one. Or anyway, uh, yeah, so we'll see you in the next video where I share some of the pages that I've made. Okay, see you.